Hello everyone. I am your course instructor, Monisha Raj K H, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE, Sai Vidya Institute of Technology. In this lecture video, we'll be continuing with Module One of Information Theory and Coding. In this lecture video, we'll be seeing about the properties of entropy, extension of zero memory source, and we'll be seeing numericals on that, as well as we'll be seeing an uh, derivation about the relationship between Hartley bits and NATs. So first, let's see the properties of entropy. The first property of entropy is entropy function is continuous for every independent variable p k in the interval zero comma one. That is, p k varies continuously from zero and one. Entropy function vanishes at both p k equal to zero and p k equal to one. This is the first property of entropy, that is, it is continuous. The second property is, the entropy function is symmetrical function of its arguments. Here we, we are talking about the arguments. So, it tells that h of pk, comma 1 minus pk will be equal to h of 1 minus pk, comma pk, irrespective of the position of the arguments, for all k equal to 1, 2, 3, up to q. This is a symmetrical function. The third one is extremal property. What do you mean by extremal property? Entropy attains a maximum value when the source symbols becomes equiprobable. That is, h of s, uh, s max equal to log q to the base 2 bits per symbol, where q is the number of symbols in a sequence. This is extremal property. The fourth property is additive property. Additive property tells that the partitioning of symbols into sub-symbols cannot decrease the entropy. That is, h dash of s equal to h of s plus a positive quantity. Also, h dash of s is, is always greater than or equal to h of s. The fifth one is the source efficiency. Source efficiency is given by uh, the ratio of entropy of the source to maximum entropy entropy of the source and is given by eta s equal to h of s by h of s max we've already seen h of s max in third property so source efficiency is h of s by h of s max the sixth one is source redundancy source redundancy r eta s equal to one minus eta s where both eta s, that is source efficiency, and r eta s, that is source redundancy, are expressed in terms of percentage. Remember, source efficiency and source redundancy will always be expressed in terms of percentage. These are the properties of entropy. Next is, we'll be seeing about extension of zero memory source or memoryless source. What do you mean by zero memory source or memoryless source? It is a type of source in which there is no connection between any two symbols and that the source has no memory. Extension of zero memory source becomes a necessity in some of the coding situations. First, let us consider a binary source S emitting symbols S1 and S2 with probabilities P1 and P2 respectively such that P1 plus P2 equal to 1. Then the second extension of binary source we have or the number of basic source symbols extension will have 2 power 2 equal to 4 symbols. It's 2 power 2 here because we have only two symbols. If we have three symbols, it will be three power two symbols. It will always be square of number of symbols present. Okay, now let us see how to calculate the probabilities of these second extension symbols. So first is S1 into S1. The probability of S1 into S1 is P1 into P1 will be P1 squared. Second one is S1, S2. It will be P1, P2. So probability of the second one will be P1, P2. Third one is S2, S1. S2, S1, the probability would be P2, P1. 
and in the fourth one would be s2 s2 the probability will be p2 p2 that will be equal to p2 square so the sum of all the probabilities of the second extended source is equal to unity that is p1 square plus p1 p2 plus p2 p1 plus p2 square equal to 1 we can write this also as p1 plus p2 whole square equal to 1 this is how you find the probability values for second extended source Next, we need to know how do you calculate the entropy value for the second extended source. We have already seen the entropy of basic binary source. We will just see once again about this. That is the entropy of basic binary source is given by h of s equal to summation i equal to 1 to 2 pi log of 1 by pi where here we are considering only two symbols, hence uh, the summation uh, limits would be i equal to 1 to 2. So, p1 log of 1 by p1 to the base 2 plus p2 log of 1 by p2 to the base 2. This is the entropy of basic binary source. Next, we need to see the entropy of the second extended source. Here the symbols are 4, hence the limit of summation would be i equal to 1 to 4 pi log of 1 by pi. It would be p1 square log of 1 by p1 square to the base 2 plus p1 p2 log of 1 by p1 p2 to the base 2 plus p1 p2 log of 1 by p1 p2 to the base 2 plus p2 square into log of 1 by p2 square to the base 2. This is about the extension of zero memory source. Next is we'll be seeing a numerical on that. First, we'll see a numerical on efficiency and redundancy. A discrete source S emits two independent symbols X and Y with probabilities 0.55 and 0.45 respectively. Calculate the efficiency and redundancy of the source. So here they're asking you to calculate efficiency and redundancy for the two probability values given as 0.55 and 0.45. And so the steps to be followed is first you need to calculate h of s then maximum value of h of s then source efficiency then source redundancy so we know the formula for h of s so we'll see as there are only two of uh, symbols given the summation uh, limit should go as summation i equal to 1 to 2 pi log of 1 by pi to the base 2 so P1 value is 0.55, P2 value is 0.45. So substituting those values, we get it as 0.55 log of 1 by 0.55 to the base 2 plus 0.45 into log of 1 by 0.45 to the base 2. So H of S value after calculation, we get it as 0.9928 bits per symbol. This is H of S, that is the entropy of the source. Next is maximum entropy of the source, where we are, uh, this we have seen in properties of entropy. So maximum entropy is given as h of s max equal to log q to the base 2, where q is the number of symbols present. So here there are only two symbols, so q value will be 2. So log 2 to the base 2, where it will be 1 bit. Then source efficiency formula is eta s equal to h of s by h of s max we have calculated h of s and h of s max value substituting those values mm -hmm. 0.9928 by 1 so eta s will be equal to 99.28 percent remember you need to represent it in percentage next is source redundancy r eta s equal to 1 minus eta s so eta s value is 0.9928 so r eta s would be 0.72 percentage so here also you need to sub, uh, represent it in percentage itself this is about uh, efficiency and redundancy next we'll be seeing about second extended source this is another numerical consider a discrete memoryless source with source alphabets s equal to s1 s2 s3 with probabilities p equal to half 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 
Find the entropy of this source. Also determine the entropy of its second extension and verify that h of s square equal to 2 into h of s. So here they are asking you to calculate the entropy of the normal source and the entropy of the second extended source. And they are asking you to verify that uh, h of s square, that is the second extended source, will be equal to twice of uh, the normal uh, entropy value. So first, we, ne uh, we need to see uh, how to calculate the basic source with uh, three symbols. So h of s equal to summation i equal to one to three. It, this is because uh, we have three symbols. So substituting the values, one by two log uh, two to the base two, and there are two one by four values. So uh, two times of one by four into log four to the base two. So uh, ca uh, calculating h of s value, we get it as 1.5 bits per symbol. This is simple. Next we'll see how to calculate the second extension uh, basic uh, second extension of basic source with three symbols and uh, how to verify uh, h of s square equal to 2 into h of s so as we have three symbols here it will be the square of number of symbols so three square will be nine symbols how will i calculate that so s1 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 uh, probability value of s1 will be half half so half into half it will be one by four Next is S1, S2. S1, S2, 1 by 2 into 1 by 4, the probability values. So it will be 1 by 8. So S1, S3, 1 by 2 into 1 by 4, it will be again 1 by 8. S2 into S1, 1 by 4 into 1 by 2, it will be 1 by 8. S2 into S2, 1 by 4 into 1 by 4, it will be 1 by 16. S2 into S3, it will be 1 by 4 into 1 by 4, 1 by 16. S3 into S1, 1 by 4 into 1 by 2, it will be 1 by 8. S3 into S3, it will be 1 by 4 into 1 by 4, it will be 1 by 16. S3 and S3, the property values are 1 by 4 into 1 by 4, it will be 1 by 16. So these are the probability uh, values for the symbols, nine symbols for second extension of basic source. Now we need to calculate the entropy. So H of S square equal to summation J equal to 1 to 9, as there are nine symbols, PI log of 1 by PI to the base 2, now you uh, uh, you need to substitute the values. So how many one by fours are there? There is only one 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 by four. So it will be one by four into log of four to the base two. How many one by eights are there? One, two, three, and four. So multiply one by eight uh, into log eight to the base two into four. How many one by sixteens are there? One, two, three, and four. Now uh, substitute one by sixteen into log uh, sixteen to the base two into four. After calculating this, we get uh, the entropy value of the second extension of basic source as 3 bits per symbol. Now they have asked you to prove it. So how do you prove it? H of S square equal 2 into H of S. We know the value of H of S square and uh, H of S. So substituting those values, H of S square is 3 bits per symbol. H of S is 1.5 bits per symbol. Substituting and calculating, we get it as 3 equal to 3, hence proved. Note that some of the probabilities of the second extended source symbols must, must also be equal to 1. Remember this, always the probabilities of all the symbols should always be equal to 1. This is one important thing. Next is, we'll be seeing the relationship between Hartley bits and Nats. So, uh, by the definition of self-information with respect to Nat, Bits and Atlee, it is given by, by the definition of Atlee, Bits and uh, Nat, the self-information would be given as I equal to log 10 of 1 by P Hartley's. This is representing Hartley. Well, bits is I equal to log of 1 by P to the base 2 bits. Nat, I equal to log of 1 by p to the base e nats. First, we'll uh, find the relationship between Hartley and nats. For that, uh, we need to write it as 1 Hartley equal to i by log of 1 by p to the base 10. That is from this formula. Okay. Next is, we know that we are uh, uh, finding the relationship between Hartley and nats. So, here, substitute this i value with 
this log of 1 by p to the base e nat. Right. Next, taking these p values to the numerator, we'll get minus sign uh, in both numerator and denominator. So canceling those minus sign, we'll get it as 1 by log e to the p by 1 by log e log 10 to the p. This is by the formula log b by a equal to 1 by log a b. Log b a equal to 1 by log a b. So see in the numerator it's p and uh, to the base it's a. So by using this uh, formula we can also write it as 1 by log e to the base p and 1 by log 10 to the base p. I hope till now you, you guys have understood. Next is further simplifying 1 Hartley equal to log 10 to the base p log e to the base p. That is taking the denominator value to the numerator and numerator value to the denominator. Further simplification. Now as the bases are same that is p we can remove those bases and write it as log 10 to the base a. Okay. This is nothing but ln 10 nats. That is, E is represented as ln 10 nats. Then simplifying this, we get it as 2.30 nats. Hence, 1 Hartley equal to 2.30 nats. Similarly, the relationship between Hartley and Wits is 1 Hartley equal to log 10 to the base 2 bits, therefore 1 Hartley equal to 3.32 bits. In the similar way, we can also find the relationship between 1 bit is equal to how many times of Hartley's. So 1 bit equal to log 2 to the base 10 Hartley, if you 1 by 3.32 Hartley's, so 1 bit equal to 0 0.30 Hartley. Next is relationship between 1 bit and Nats. So 1 bit equal to log 2 to the base e nats. That will be ln 2 nats. ln 2 nats. So 1 bit equal to 0.693 nats. So how is 1 nats uh, related to bits? That also we, uh, we can calculate. So 1 nats equal to log e to the base 2 bits. So 1 by log 2 to the base e bit. It, that will be equal to 1 by ln 2. And that will be 1 by 0.693 bits. So 1 nats equal to 1.443 bits. Then the relationship between 1 nats and uh, Hartley. So 1 nats equal to log e to the base 10 Hartley's. That will be equal to 1 by log uh, 10 to the base e. 1 by ln 10. 1 by 2.3 hats. 1 nat equal to 0.3 Hartley's. Kindly remember you need to keep in mind or uh, Remember these relationship and their values. Sometimes in numericals, they would ask you such questions. In uh, such type of numericals, you need to substitute these values. They would ask you to represent bits in the form of nats, nats in the form of bits, or Hartley in the form of bits, or bits in the form of Hartley. So for such numericals, you need to remember these values. So next, uh, we'll be continuing with the other topics of module one in the next lecture video. Thank you.